Hey there guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today is going to be Abigail's birthday, so we need to make sure we have an amethyst ready for that. On top of that, we also have a total of 30 full seeds to be planting, so definitely want to be getting on that as soon as possible so we can get all those out of the way. I'm going to be, I'm going to be making a couple of quality sprinklers for that, and then uh, I'm going to be planting them all. Also, we have a cave carrot to finish off this quest for Marnie, which is to help her train her goats to speak. I, I don't understand that, but sure. Uh, I've also got three frozen geodes, uh, two dwarf scrolls, so there's a good reason to be heading to the east of town where we'll find the blacksmith and also the, uh, what's it called, the geologist, the geologist center, geology center, or the museum, it's one or the other. Um, and we also have uh, an axe upgrade waiting for us, which is perfect because we badly need a scarecrow, we've already lost a few of our crops due to the lack of wood we need for a scarecrow. So hopefully there won't be one about to nab our crops today. I'm just going to check the television and see what we got to look forward to. Uh, another thing that I'm going to be doing is probably tomorrow I'm going to be doing some fishing because we need to prepare for the uh, the Stardew Valley Fair, which is coming up pretty soon. Just check the weather. Weather forecast for tomorrow is going to be a beautiful sunny day. Okay, that's fine. Check the fortune teller. They feel neutral today. The day is in our hands. Okay. No sign of any crows, so that's good. It means that we should be able to uh, safely protect our crops before we lose anything else. I'm just gonna set these to make a new one. Uh, but yeah, uh, first things first, I'm gonna harvest all of these things and plant the full seeds with our new quality sprinklers. So I'm gonna speed that up and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so we have less than an hour left to get to the blacksmiths, uh, but first thing I want to do is actually swing by Marnie's and drop off the cave carrot. Okay, looks like we've got some kind of event going on here. <laughs> okay. Oh, you brought the cave- oh, good. Okay. You brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Nori. Here you go. Have fun teaching your goats to speak. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Almost. I hope it wasn't too much trouble, I really do appreciate it. Okay, that's no problem. Actually, no, 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 there is something I want to do. I also want to buy a goat. Now I need to suddenly decide. <laughs> what are we going to call the goat? Happy adults provide goat milk every other day. A milk pail is required to harvest the milk. Lives in the barn. Okay. Choose a barn for your new goat. We'll choose the main barn. Name our new animal. Uh, let's go with 
Let's go with prongs. Like Harry Potter's dad, <laughs> except it's a girl. I'll send little prongs to her new home right away. Hey, how's the weather? It's very sunny, but uh, we need to get over to the blacksmiths in just half an hour. I don't know if we have time to do that, but it's quite important that we do. Because not only do I have a whole bunch of geodes to crack open, I also have uh, a copper hoe that needs upgrading, and... Yeah, also need to pick up the axe, obviously. So, oh no, I think I'm too late. Oh, how, how annoying, how annoying. Okay. That's horrendously frustrating. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, so it really does close at, at the, uh, pretty much at the exact moment. At the exact moment that you're too late. <laughs> okay, so let's donate the Dwarf Scrolls for one thing. I think we've already dropped off Dwarf Scroll 2 in the past, so that won't be particularly useful. But we do have this one, so let's put that one in. No reward, okay. Well, hopefully we can find Dwarf Scroll run... Dwarf... Dwarf Scroll 1 fairly soon, and hopefully that will help us communicate with the Dwarf, because I still have no idea how we're supposed to do that. But yeah, since we since we don't actually have access to our uh, to our axe right now, I think the only thing left to do is probably to go and do some fishing with the rest of the day, so... Just go pick up these clams. Not going to be able to sell any fish we get here. So the lack of, uh, the lack of actual... Yeah, the lack of actual inventory slots could be a bit of a problem. But yeah, we're going to be doing some fishing now, and uh, I'm not going to make you sit and watch all of that, so I'm just going to skip that, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, I changed my mind about the fishing because we, we really don't actually have space in our inventory to do any of that right now. But uh, it is still, I'm just going to check 100% to be sure. It's still Abigail's birthday and we do have this amethyst here, so it's quite important that we go and find her. Here she is. Perfect. You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. That didn't seem particularly pleased as a reaction, but... No, okay. I thought amethyst was her favourite. Apparently it's not. I must have got mixed up or something. I would have thought she'd jump up a little bit more than that, but still, that's, that's quite a big jump. We're up to four hearts with Marnie now, so that's another very high relationship. Uh, apart from that, nothing particularly noteworthy going on there. Uh, we've also missed any chance to buy anything off Pierre. So I think the only real thing to do now, since we've already kind of exhausted our other options, one of which would be to actually do some foraging, I think the best thing to do now would probably be to go and possibly go into the mines, just to potentially get more cave carrots, and then have more of a foraging day tomorrow, or actually, there might be a little bit of space for fishing. But I think before we can do any fishing, we are going to have to go back and uh, drop all this stuff off. Okay, so it looks like we have our first bit of uh, fairy honey available, so that's actually really solid. That should get us a lot of money. I'm actually kind of tempted to save it as our artisan good for the... for the... Uh, Festival. Let's just see. It doesn't particularly distinguish it in terms of what it looks like, it's just the name that distinguishes it. I'm not entirely sure how the uh, Stardew Valley Fair works, but I think just to be safe, I think we are going to put our first one away, because I know that's worth a lot of money. So if that's something that actually affects the uh, the festival, then we definitely do want to be saving that. Um, also, this stuff is... All fairly useful. Dwarf scrolls I can actually sell, I don't need those at all, so I'll get rid of that. Um, the rest of this stuff I think I'm going to keep around just for the fishing that I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing. Probably going to be doing actually fresh water fishing because it will take a bit, of a, a bit of a long time to get back to the beach right now. And I don't actually remember if I put more bait in the crab pots, I feel like I forgot to do that, so that is one reason to potentially go back there. Uh, but for now I'm just giving myself some energy back and we're going to spend the rest of the day doing a little bit of fishing. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be able to get down to the blacksmiths actually in good time. And actually get some wood so we can make a scarecrow and some other things. Potentially another bee house if we can find some more maple syrup somewhere. Sell the mayonnaise. Uh, but I think that's pretty much all we need to do around here for now. The preserves jar is still going. No more maple syrup in sight. Yeah, so I think 
the main thing we're going to be doing now is just fishing. So yeah, I'll, I'll skip ahead of that. Okay, so that wasn't a particularly successful trip. We got three anchovies. They're all gold stars, so that's pretty nice at least. Uh, potentially we could save them back for a recipe of some kind, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to sell them. Got some trash and some seaweed and some green algae, none of which are particularly useful, but I'm going to save them just in case they are good for uh, for some kind of recipe, I suppose. Just going to put this trash in here to get it ready for tomorrow, and... Yeah, I think that's going to be about it, actually. I'm going to actually also sell this common mushroom, since it's gold star. It should be worth a nice amount, and I don't particularly need to save it for anything. So yeah, I'll get rid of that. And that's going to be about it for that particular day. Not a hugely constructive day, but... Should be okay. I'm a bit... I'm still a little bit bothered that I didn't manage to actually get to the blacksmiths. I was like one minute too late. Uh, but apart from that, it was an okay day. We at least managed to get a gift to Abigail, which was probably the main aim for the day. But tomorrow's going to be a more full-on fishing day, I think, but there's a few other things that we can do as well. We're actually leveled up to level 8 farming, plus 1 watering can proficiency, plus 1 hoe proficiency, new, new crafting recipe keg. Now everything I know about the keg suggests that it's, a, it's actually a really, really strong uh, thing to get, thing to unlock. So that actually potentially means that we can make a lot of money if we can build some of those. I'm not sure what we need for that, but uh, definitely I want to be building a few of those if we can. Also got the oil maker. I'm not sure how to make oil, but that could be useful for cooking. And the new crafting recipe, Deluxe Speed Grow. That would definitely be useful if we can find a way to actually get some of that. Whoa, we got a lot of money from the cranberries, just like before. 63 cranberries there worth 9,000 on their own. 10 silver star cranberries worth 1,700. And 5 gold stars worth 1,000. That's, that's an incredible cash crop. That just... <laughs> I think that's borderline overpowered. I mean, look, a, a gold star common mushroom is only worth 60 in comparison. And it's significantly, I mean, it's not hard to get common mushrooms by any stretch of the imagination, but it's significantly easier to get common mushrooms. Uh, no, it's significantly easier to get cranberries than it is to get common mushrooms, I would say. Five clams, not worth an awful lot. Two corals, worth 160 gold. And the chanterelles, worth 160. That's a nice amount. Whoa, those are worth absolutely nothing. I'm not sure what to do with them then. I think what I should have done was save them and give them to the uh, to the dwarf. That would have been a much better idea. So I'll do that next time I get some Dwarf Scrolls. Crayfish, not worth much. Cockle, anchovies, really not worth very much. Even at Gold Star, they're really not very valuable. Uh, gold, uh, Smallmouth Bass was worth an okay amount. And in total, we've got 13 grand coming in there, so that's really good. Slightly worried that we're going to be uh, chased, chasing off crows this morning. <laughs> but today, we definitely will have time to get what we need back. Let's just check what all this stuff is. To get the axe back is what I mean. It's going to rain all day tomorrow, so that'll be potentially a good mine day. It might be the Stardew Fair, though. I think that's coming up pretty soon. Fortune Teller. Mildly perturbed. Luck will not be on our side. That kind of sucks. And this week's dish, Trout Soup. There's something about a fresh-caught trout that just gets me buzzing. Maybe it's the subtle taste of the river. At any rate, I've got a wonderful trout soup recipe to share with you. You learned how to cook trout soup. Let's have a look. How do we do that? I'm not sure if I've had trout before. Sashimi, that's not what we're looking for. Omelette. Okay, we could actually make an omelette at some point pretty soon. Farmer's lunch. No, we won't be able to make that for a good while. Coleslaw, pale broth. I can't actually find it anywhere. Yeah, I can't actually find it, okay. Just... Trout soup, there we go. 
one rainbow trout and one green algae. So we've got a green algae safe, but a rainbow trout, I actually have no idea how to get that. I think trout soup's the thing that I keep buying off Willy, actually, so that's interesting. Uh, we got some mail here, we got our goat over there, our new goat prongs. Let's just see what the mail is. Nora, how are things going? You must really be making a fortune on that farm. Don't forget your dear old mother when you're a millionaire. It actually won't be long till I am a millionaire at this rate. P.S. Enjoy the cake. Now what I know about this cake is apparently it's a really good gift for some of the characters in this game. I think the kids for one thing, the little kids. And here we've got all our pumpkins. They are now done. We didn't get a giant pumpkin unfortunately, but still that's not a bad haul. So yeah, we'll gather all those up and... Also it's going to be time to water all the crops, so I'm going to skip ahead with that. And actually we can probably finish off the autumn foraging bundle now, no the autumn crops bundle. Just going to check that we have what we need for that. I think it'll be crafts room, no, it will actually be this room, so we need corn, eggplant, yam and pumpkin. I think we've got all that stuff so we can all we can uh, go and give all that in. But in the meantime I'm going to be doing the watering. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so Clint is looking for someone to bring him 30 copper ores for inspection. 340 gold on delivery and you can keep the ores after Clint inspects them. Uh, I think it's pretty unlikely that we're going to be able to get that in the space of two days. I mean, it's possible that we could do it tomorrow. Yeah, we could possibly do that tomorrow. And actually, I'm thinking it would be good to go into the mines tomorrow anyway, so that we can look for uh, some more gold ore. And then we can craft ourselves a, a gold bar, which we will also use for the Stardew Valley Fair, which is in two days. So that could be the last thing to do after today's, uh, what will be a fishing trip today, I think. Looks like we've got an event here going on between Abigail, who's <laughs> playing a, a video game. This looks like a Journey of the Prairie King, actually. Noro. You scared me sneaking into my room like that. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why I am sneaking into a room I didn't choose to. So I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. <laughs> hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Looks like I'm going to be forced to play a video game here, against my will. <laughs> I don't actually have a choice. Oh, interesting. Two players. Sure, okay. Oh crap, how do I shoot? Oh, oops. Well, that was a complete waste of a life. Well, okay, so hopefully this will be a little bit easier if we have some help. So I've had, I've had some trouble with this game in the past. The one time I tried it in the past, it was actually pretty difficult. Looks like we got some coffee there. I'm not sure how to use that. Oh dear. No. Oh, she died. Oh dear. How do I use my coffee? <laughs> this is actually quite fun. I'm not a fan of it when it's just a single player game because it's a bit too overwhelming, but with the extra, the extra help it's not too bad. It's 
Still not really sure how to use that coffee. I'm hoping the instructions will pop up again soon without me needing to uh, sacrifice myself. Let's grab this. I think that's an extra life, and I'm not sure what that wheel is. Whoa, okay. That's extremely strong. Whoa, okay, we just got even stronger too. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> Until this wears off, there's absolutely nothing that we can do to lose. Okay, it's wearing off now. Damn. Okay. That's a shame. That was fun while it lasted. Hey, we did it. No, I don't want to stop now. Let's keep going. Let's complete this. It's gonna be... No, it would have been so much easier with two people than having to do it with one person. Hey, that was fun. Well, thanks, Nora. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. What? Is that... Is that implying something? I do know my way around a joystick. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get... What I said I would get, what I decided I would get, sorry, is another 20 pumpkin seeds. Because I think we need, uh, for the quality crops bundle, we need 5 gold star pumpkins, and we currently have... I'm actually tempted to get 25. In fact, I think I, um, tempted to. Screw it, let's get 25. Um, because we need, I think we need 5 gold star pumpkins in order to complete the quality crops bundle. So that should actually be pretty doable. Uh, we have three, by the way, in case you didn't... <coughs> in case you didn't see earlier. But yeah, uh, first things first, let's go to the blacksmiths and actually get our stuff back today and also put... Ooh, actually... Potentially it's not the best time to be putting the hoe away if we're going to be planting the pumpkin seeds, but I do want to upgrade the hoe, so I am going to do it anyway. So yeah, let's go sort this out. Let's get our copper axe back. I mean, steel axe, perfect. Even better. You received a steel axe, good. Okay, so process geodes, let's get these things out. That might be new. Ocean stone, I think that's new, that's pretty cool. Five rocks, that's not particularly great. And I think that is also new, whatever that is. Esperite, interesting, okay. So while we're here, let's also put uh, this thing, steel hoe, yeah, let's put that in for an upgrade. Uh, I hope I didn't need to buy something, because if I did, I've not done that at all. No, I think, I think it would be okay. Alright, so let's go and donate these things. Hopefully we'll unlock another reward for ourselves, which hopefully won't be plants. Because I have no way to hoe the ground right now. Let's put these here. And here. Okay, no more rewards, okay. Alright, so before I forget, I'm gonna go... Oh, actually, I have forgotten. I've completely forgotten to actually get the crops out that I need in order to complete the, uh the bundle. So I'll head back to the farm now and get those out of the fridge. Okay, so I went back to the farm and I've planted the 20, well 20 of the 25 pumpkin seeds we got. I also made another scarecrow. I got all the stuff we need for this bundle and uh, we also got a total of four extra fairy rose honeys, which is absolutely perfect. So we're uh, we're going to be making a lot of money off the honey tonight, that's for sure. Uh, let's just finish this thing off. One, two, three, four. Hopefully we get something good for this. We'll see. A bee house. Okay, that's actually pretty useful. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. So yeah, we'll be getting even more fairy rose honey shortly, I'm sure. But uh, with the remainder of the day, which there really isn't much left, I'm hoping we can potentially catch something useful for the Stardew Valley Fair. I'm going to start off fishing in this area. Apparently in this area, to just, just here at the north of the, ri the river, you can actually get a few fish that you can't get in other places, I think. That's something I heard anyway. So I'm going to try fishing all the way up here first and see if we can get anything good. Try it out. Whoa, okay, I think that might be one of the rare fish that I've heard you can get. It had a special symbol on it which suggests it's extremely difficult to catch. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually get it, whatever it is. So I might have to come back here and try again another time when I have a higher fishing level, because this thing is way out of my ability level. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, I might actually need to, <laughs> need to go somewhere a little bit less difficult. I also need to head down to the beach anyway, just to get the stuff out of the... It's not so useful. Just to get the stuff out of the crab pots and see what we got there. 
Uh, I think fishing in the beach might be a better idea since this is just way out of our ability level, but when we can fish here, it would definitely be nice to catch whatever this is. I knew that was too good to be true. I knew that was too good to be true. Oh. oh my god, we actually got it. We actually got it. An angler. You've caught one of the legendary fish. Wow. Uses a bioluminescent dangler to attract prey. It's Silver Star. It's one of the legendary fish. Okay, so that was definitely true, that rumor I heard. I caught, caught a legendary fish there, the angler. Excellent. Okay, so it's probably... It's not actually very good in terms of what it does if we eat it, so eating it's definitely not going to be an option. Uh, let's just have a look at it in the collections panel. Okay, it's worth 900 gold, so that's pretty tempting just to sell it like that. But I'm, I'm going to keep it back just for the Stardew Valley Fair. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to head down to the beach, and I'm actually really proud we caught that. That was extremely difficult. The first time, the first time we got one of those on the rod, it was it just looked completely out of our ability range. But it looks like we just about managed it in the end. Uh, still, I am going to spend the rest of the day fishing because that is pretty much what I planned, and hopefully we'll be able to get something pretty decent in the sea as well. We'll soon find out. See what we've got in the crab pots. Only got another two hours left to actually achieve anything here. So that's not great. A uh, whole bunch of trash. Well, one bit of trash, but also a bunch of things that barely go for anything. Next then he picked up the crab pots as usual. Let's uh, let's put these things back into the sea. And fill them with bait. Okay, perfect. And let's put the trash in the recycling machine. We've not really got much room for anything. Yeah, not really got any room. I mean, there's not really... I don't really want to throw any of this stuff away, ideally. Um, I could throw away the green algae. I doubt that's particularly important. But we're, mm, yeah, we probably won't actually get more of that since you don't get algae in the sea. You usually just get it in the rivers. So we might as well eat that. Hopefully there's no coral here. I'm actually hoping there isn't anything to loot here. It doesn't look like there is. Okay, so that's good. So that means we can use our three remaining inventory slots for whatever good fish we can find here. Unless I get something particularly interesting, I'm probably just going to fast forward for the uh, the next hour. Okay, an albacore. That's new as well, actually. We've got Silver Star albacore. Prefers temperature edges where cool and more warm water meet. I'm not sure if that's unique to this particular pier or something. Uh, I don't want to be carrying driftwood around. I've actually only got one slot left and it's 11.40pm so we can probably make one final attempt at this. Looks like we got another fish. Potentially another albacore just based on... No, okay, it's not that difficult. I thought it was quite difficult at first, but it's not. So we got... Okay, it is actually another albacore, and it's even better than the last one. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to save that albacore just for the... Just in case it's also useful for the fishing display. And I think that's a pretty good haul overall. I think we're just about ready to head back now. Just going to check that there's something we could potentially get rid of in order to use these things instead. I don't think there is. So I'm just going to leave that torch there. But yeah, that was actually a much more successful fishing trip than I thought. We got two new two new types of fish, and a legendary fish there, the angler, which is pretty surprising because we're only we're only level six, I think. Yeah, we're only level six at fishing, so that was quite a good catch considering. Uh, we got another bee house from completing the autumn crops, but the fall crops bundle, which will mean even more of the extremely profitable fairy rose honey. Alright, just going to drop off the Gold Star Albacore and the Angler. Sell the other stuff we have. Sell the Clam. Um, sell the Cockles. And the Oysters. Okay, and let's also, while we're here, let's, if we have time. Yeah, we do just about have time. Let's put this thing in the recycling machine, which should give us a bit more refined quartz. This thing, just for another gold bar. 
and drop off the bee house. Perfect. Okay, so I think everything is done for today. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that overall. I think that was very successful. I, I have actually dropped off. I don't remember actually dropping those things off. I assume I have. Yeah, I have. Okay. That's cool. I think we could potentially get more anglers. Just, I mean, it was still really difficult, but once we level up our fishing a little bit more, I don't think those would be particularly difficult to catch more of, assuming that you can catch more than one in a day. I'm not entirely sure. Should have a nice amount coming in here. Whoa, that's actually potentially the most we've ever made. Pickled yam, uh, not worth an awful lot. Quite a nice amount. A lot from the cranberries. Oh yeah, the pumpkins. That's where all the money's coming from. The pumpkin. Oh no. No, I was wrong. The fairy rose honey, only four of them are worth 5,000 gold. That seems way overpowered. I thought they were worth maybe 700 each, but that's actually 1,200 for each fairy rose honey there. That seems extremely overpowered. Okay. Alright, so we're now extremely rich. Um, fishing. Albacore is actually not worth much at all, so that's not actually a particularly valuable fish, I'm guessing. So I think it is going to be the angler that we'll be using in our display. Okay, so the next episode it will be, firstly I think we'll be doing a mining day just to see if we can get 30 copper ores Clint is looking for. And potentially also uh, I think it would be good to look for some uh, some gold ore so that we can make a gold bar for the, also for the uh, Stardew Valley Fair. And then the day after that it will be the actual fair, so hopefully we'll win that. Because we do now have a very nice collection of items, I think we've got pumpkins for, no. Pumpkins, are pumpkins a vegetable? I need to check this. It's actually also raining, so it's a good day to go into the mines for that reason. Yeah, pumpkins are a vegetable, so we got a valuable vegetable, we got a very valuable artisan good, we got valuable forage, uh, an okay animal product, valuable fruit, valuable mineral, uh, a good crab pot fish, I don't know if that's a distinction or not. Uh, the albacore I'm probably not going to use, the angler I'll probably use as my fish display. And I think that should be enough to actually win it, especially if we throw in a gold bar, so that's that's looking pretty good actually. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to save all that stuff for tomorrow's episode, so yeah, I'll see you then guys.